We got us a Walking Liberty Ender. My first find since I come over to bottom feed with Scott. Looks like we got us a big old dandy button. Let's see what we have. Oh yeah. Got us a Benji. Thinking we got some silver here. Oh no, it's not. We have us a walker. We got us a cat bust. I can't make out a year or anything yet. That is awesome. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Rick from Hunting Southwest Ohio. And we are back for episode 19 of the Penny Hunt and Fill series. We've got a fresh box in front of us from the bank I picked up today. I did pop it open. I did check it just to make sure it was circulated. And we do have circulated pennies. Let me peek at about the top, the top row, a few maybe on the second row. Nothing obvious, but hopefully we have some finds. Have our albums in front of us, ready to go. I will not get into the albums at this point. I will tell you that we have 175 of 265 spots filled. So we have about 90 spots to go. So I'm excited about that. If you have not been following along, I'll have a link up above. Go ahead and click that link. And get caught up if you'd like. So, enough talking. Let's get into this box. Looking for wheat pennies, errors, varieties, or anything else cool we can find. And we will see you when we hit that first find. Rule 11. And here's my first 2022. I have not found any to date. This will be the first one. I have not seen any uncirculated boxes yet, but I'm sure I will eventually. All right, see you on the next one. Roll 12, and we finally got a wheat penny, and it is an oldie. That appears to be a 1909. It is, I believe. Do not see a VDB. Let's just confirm the date. 1909. No mint mark. I'll flip it over and check the back out. No VDB. It's a straight up 1909 Philly, but I know we need that for the album. That is awesome. Here's one spot we got filled. That's the earliest. Wheat Penny, obviously, I have found so far, so maybe there's a few more early ones lurking in this box. Roll 24, and we finally have Wheat Penny number two. It has been slow on finds. Do have a few nice ones across the top. Could be upgrades, but here it is. Second Wheat Penny of the hunt. Fairly war on the back. And we have a 1934 out of Philly. I do not recall if we need that one or not, but definitely going to set it aside, and we will find out. Roll 25. Maybe the box is finally heating up. It was an ender. I missed it. And a 1958D. Wheat scent. We'll take that. Didn't see anything else. We'll bring you back in on the next find. Rule 29. And finally, we have wheat penny number four. And it is going to be a 1942 out of Philly. Rule 41. And we have wheat penny number five right back here. And we have a 19. 41 out of Philly. Let's go ahead and check that for the various DDOs. Liberty and God we trust, which I am not seeing it in the date as well on this one. And doesn't look like it on any of them, but we penny number five. We'll take it. All right, box one is hunted. And unfortunately, we only had five wheat pennies. That we found in that box but the good news is we do have a 1909 philly here which i know is going to fill a spot in the book I did pick up six canadians quite a few 59s possible album upgraders across the top and our first 2022 so we don't since we only had five finds i'm going to go ahead 
break into box two here. I just got this out, picked it up from the bank. I did pop this open when I got it home just to make sure it was circulated. And it is. So, excited to get into another box, see what we can add to the board and to the album. We'll bring you back in on the first find. Rule number three and wheat penny number one of box two. We will have a 1942 out of Philly. Rule number eight. We'll give up wheat penny number two. And we have 1956 out of Denver. Rule 15. And we got us a young head, a Canadian. And it will be 1964. Rule 16. And this will be wheat penny number four, I believe, of this box. Number three. Number three of this box. We'll have a 1953 Philly. All right, we'll take it. Rule 18, wheat penny number nine of the hunt. Number four of box two. It will be another, come oh, on, focus for me. Another 1956 out of Denver. Rule 23, and wheat penny number 10 of the hunt. Number five of box two. Maybe a little older. Nope, 1952. And I believe that is a 52. Yes. Yes, it is. I will take that. I'll see you on the next five. Rule 36. <clears throat> and we've got a few wheat scents here. we got one back here in the back. And then up here, we have one kind of in the middle. And I see one here up front. So that's three in this roll. We'll take that. Let's start with this one in the back here. And we have a 1956. And the next one. Nineteen fifty-three D. And the one in the front. We have a 1944 out of Denver. That's awesome. Three in a row. That puts us at 14 wheat cents. Nine for box two. Let's see what else we got in this roll. Same roll. And we have a fourth wheat cent. We have a 57D back here. Four in one roll. We'll take that. I do not see that very often. Roll 44. And... Wheat penny number 16, number 11 of box 2, will give us a pretty decent looking 1957 out of Denver. Got a little red to it still. A little stripe across the back like it may have been in a book or something. But, we'll take it. Roll 46. And we have wheat penny number 17, number 12 of box 2. And it will be a 1953. Out of Denver. All right, we have all 50 rolls of box 200, and it was a good one compared to the first box. We killed the copper, overflowed the cup. Big pile on the desk here between the two boxes, which is awesome. Um, we did get <clears throat> 1359s. Uh, I do check those for a week back. It's a rare error, but it's out there. Uh, only 309s. Nothing special with those. They're all going to go back. And we got... Uh, 16 Canadians, one young head, I believe, that was a 1964. Everything else is newer. And we got a bunch of nice, real nice uh, zinc pennies here that it could be some upgraders or additions for a few that we're maybe missing. And 15 beauties for copper cents. There's some really nice ones in this group. Some are, you know, maybe an MS63, but some of them are really nice. So, happy to find those. That should upgrade maybe a few spots at least. And then, we got our 17 wheat pennies, 1958. All the way down to, we got that one 
1909 Philly, which I know is going to fill the spot. Excited to get that in the album. So, let's get them albums cracked out. Let's see what we can add. I'll be back with the first one. All right, we have album one, our 1909 through 1940S. And we're just going to have the one edition. And that is going to be that 1909 Philly. That will put us at 20 spots, 20 spots filled in this book, which is awesome. One slot closer. All right, let's go ahead, break into book two. Book two, 1941 through 1974S. And we are going to have six upgrades, no additions. Definitely some nicer pennies, some of the real nice copper ones we found did upgrade in some spots. With the amount of those we found, we could only upgrade four or five with those nice ones. So we got a pretty good book going here, I think. All right, let me get these swapped out, and we'll get on to book number three. All right, album number three, 1975 through 2013D. And we're going to have three upgrades, and we will have one addition. I have been finding a lot of this particular penny, but they've been in terrible shape. This is the nicest one I've found, so I finally pulled it aside. We got a 1995D that will be an addition. Let me swap out our three upgrades, which will be that 2011, which is just slightly better than what's there. Uh, this 2000, which is definitely better than what's there, much more luster. And this 1995, uh, a lot more red, not quite as faded as the other, so I'll swap them out, and I'll be back with where we stand. All right, everything is swapped out, tallied up, and we are currently at 177 out of 265 spots. So we have finally broke within 100 by quite a bit. So I'm excited to get into another box here soon. See what else we can add to the albums. And it was a fun hunt. Happy everybody came along. Remember to give it a big thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. And we will see you on the next hunt. Mm -hmm.